and that can make a nice little day trip not too far away. Let's talk some weather now as we take a live look outside from the Missionary Ridge camera and turn back to meteorologist Brittany Beggs in the Storm Alert Center on this Storm Alert Weather Day. Brittany. Latrice, you wouldn't guess it's a storm alert weather day by hopping outside. It's nice. Get out there, maybe get some fresh air by 3 p.m., 4 p.m. Some rain is going to begin in our western counties and then just in time for the evening commute, some wet roads and that will include Hamilton County. As far as our temperatures tonight, this is when they really start to drop. Uh, you'll notice by 6 p.m. we're already in the upper 40s. We'll enjoy the mid 50s out there today. But things really start to drop by 8 o'clock. We're down to 42 and then by 10 o'clock we're in the 30s. So tonight we're back down to freezing. Here's where a little bit of winter weather is possible. It's brief. It's in the higher elevations. Hamco, you guys are just getting some light rain. Uh, same goes for Bradley County, but it's Sequatchie, Bledsoe, even northern Grundy County. Uh, that's where maybe a little bit of winter weather possible for you all. Now, I'm also seeing some flurries moving overnight. The Vipercast is not indicating that, but our new rapid, ra rapid uh, refresh model is showing light snow showers, just some flurries late tonight and early tomorrow morning. That's not going to be accumulating, but just a heads up, there might be some flakes flying early tomorrow. We've got one winter storm warning. It's just clipping our viewing area. Southeastern Monroe County, that gets kicked in tonight at 6 o'clock, goes all the way through noon tomorrow, and that is for 3 to 6 inches of snow fall and that's in the higher elevations there. You'll notice there's not a winter weather advisory for the Cumberland Plateau for our area. It is just to our north. Uh, so we could have that extended. I think overall Bledsoe County, the Pikeville area, it's you all that are likely going to get that dusting for tonight. So let me show you what at least the Viper cast is indicating. It is showing, it's doing a decent job. Right now it's showing about maybe a dusting to an inch for northern Grundy County. It's not showing much for Sequatchie and it's showing a dusting for Van Buren. But based on the model data that I am seeing, I think we could just scoot that a little bit further east to include at least the western and northern portion of Bledsoe. So we'll put that for Pikeville too. Cleveland, Chattanooga, we're going to be too warm. Fort Payne, Dalton, we're going to be too warm. Even Signal Mountain and Lookout Mountain. I think it's going to be a little too warm for you all. Um, but this is mainly well in our uh, way higher elevations. About an inch is what our Viper cast is indicating. So I think it's going a little too meek uh, for Monroe County there. Then take a look at these winds. The winds really start to uptick tonight, so we're going to have a breeze ongoing. Um, it does us a couple of things. It evaporates the moisture off the roads before the really colder air moves in, which is some good news. That's the good thing the wind is going to do. Um, because of that, I don't think there's going to be much ice out there tomorrow. Perhaps some minor locations, really isolated slick spots. We'll put that for Bledsoe County uh, at best, but the winds does, a, does a, a big favor here. Tomorrow morning, the wind chill though. That's the other thing. By tomorrow morning, the winds won't be quite as gusty, but the wind chill is going to be in the low 20s during this time. Some spots are going to be in the teens, but the winds will start gusting right around 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, around 20 miles an hour. Upwards about 26, 27, right around midnight or so. So kind of a windy night here. And it's all from that front. Now let me show you the Vipercast wind chill. This is what it's going to feel like. By 6 p.m., we already have a wind chill in the 30s. That's what that blue color indicates. The light blue color indicates a wind chill in the 20s. As we put this in motion overnight, no one's outside really overnight, uh, but by t uh, 5 o'clock tomorrow morning, the wind chill is down to 18 in Chattanooga, even in the single digits across Bledsoe County. Very cold morning, both tomorrow morning and Friday morning. Can't emphasize that enough. The sunshine, these mild days we had over the last five days, that has certainly been deceiving. We're definitely going to be reminded it's still January by tonight. Enjoy this. Temperatures currently in the 50s. We're even approaching 60 right now in Dalton. 